All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna to show you how to effectively improve your practice sessions. All right, guys, so if your practice consists on coming to the bowling alley and simply just throwing a bunch of strikes, getting lined up and trying to score 300 every game, you're probably not getting the most out of your time. Practice should be focused in order to improve your skills, learn new skills, and then master them. Today, we're gonna show you different tips and tricks that you can use to improve your practice time. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna talk about here is warming up. So it might be really easy to just come straight to the bowling alley, put your bowling shoes on, and throw the first shot full speed. It might work for some people, but in reality, you will want to get your body ready to perform. So we're gonna show you my favorite warm-up exercise to do before I practice. All right guys, so the first thing that I like to do before I practice or I come to a bowling center is to get my joints moving. So my favorite exercise to do is simply doing like arm circles. So I would do this for like 20 seconds in one direction and then I'll just do another 20 seconds on the other direction until I feel like my shoulders are feeling more warmed up. A personal favorite that I like to do in order to warm up kind of like my wrist is simply getting my arms in front and do wrist circles. 20 seconds one way, then I will switch it up once those 20 seconds are passed. All right guys, so the exercise that I like to do when it comes to warming up my legs are lunges. These are great to start getting your legs ready because at the end of the day, all the power comes from the legs. So finally, the only thing that I need right now is to get my heart rate a little bit up. So one great exercise to do, achieve this is simply doing jumping jacks. This is a great exercise to simply get you ready. All right guys, so the second thing that we're gonna talk about here is drills. So drills are exercise that focus on a specific aspect of your game. Also, it's a great tool to start getting you warm up. So another reason why drills are really important is just help you keep your fundamentals in check. So now I'm gonna show you my three favorite drills that I like to use at every practice session. All right guys, so the first drill that we're gonna talk about here is the release drill. This is my favorite exercise in bowling because it helps you to practice your release. So the first thing you wanna do is get on a strong finish position. Make sure your shoulders are straight and then simply focus on your release. This drill is great because it helps you work on different types of releases. So if I wanna work on my versatility, this is the drill I wanna be working on because it's gonna help you only focus on your release. All right guys, so another drill that I like to use a lot is the swing and slide drill or most commonly known as a one-step drill. So this one is a great tool for, again, practicing your release, but also we are adding one more step to work on your swing. So we're gonna set up, we're gonna leave a little space, like one and a half steps before the foul line. We're gonna bend our knees a little bit. We're gonna do small swings, and then when you feel ready to bowl, we slide and we post our shot. This drill is great for working on your release, but now it's gonna add the component of the swing. So also, it's a great tool to simply work on your swing direction while also posting your shot at the line. All right guys, so the next drill that we're gonna talk about here is the three-step drill. So this one is great to improve your timing. Also, it's very common when the lanes are super dry and you need to get in front of the ball return, you're gonna be ready because you already practiced how to three-step. So for this drill, I like to use the ball return as a guide. The key is starting with your left foot. If you are right-handed or if you're left-handed, you're gonna start with your right foot. So again, this drill is great for getting your timing right, for practicing your three-step approach. Also, you're building up. You start with no step, add one step, then go to the three-step, and then your body is ready to go into a full approach. All right, so the third aspect that we're gonna talk about here today is 
challenge. So sometimes when you come to practice, it can get a little boring. Like let's say if you want to become a better spurt shooter, like shooting a 10 pins, the whole practice session might not be as appealing. So I'm going to show you my favorite challenge that can make your practice a little bit more entertaining while also improving your game. All right, so the first challenge that I like to do at practice are spare cycles. So the spare cycles are simply a way of shooting different spare combinations that you are gonna encounter. So the way it works, first you're gonna go with the pins in the back row, that means seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then you're gonna move up to six and 10 and four, seven. And lastly, you're gonna go to the three, six, 10 and the bucket. And then if you complete all those, that means you completed one spare cycle. Usually in a practice session, I like to set the goal of doing three cycles without missing. And then that's gonna be like a great practice session for me when I'm working on my spares. And it's gonna add up that kind of like pressure that you kind of feel in competitions because I mean, if I miss that 3610, it's gonna make me to start all over again. So the next challenge that I wanna talk about is useful when I'm trying to improve my versatility. So with this challenge, I'm gonna to try to strike from every arrow on the lane. I know it's gonna be hard, especially if you're bowling on a house shot where the gutters might not have oil at all, but you're gonna to have to adjust your game in order to achieve that goal. If it's gonna get you your versatility, you're gonna to have to change launch angles, increase speed, decrease revolution. That's a great exercise that I like to do when I wanna work on my versatility. All right, so the third challenge that I like to do is a little bit of a more fun one. It's called low ball. So the goal of this game or challenge is simply a score as low as possible without getting zero or throwing it in the gutter. So in this game, if you throw it in the gutter on the first ball, it's gonna count as a strike. Or if you get zero on the second ball, it's gonna count as a spare. So the goal here is ideally, you will wanna get the seven clean and the 10 clean. So this challenge is great if you wanna fine tune your uh, accuracy. Like if you wanna get better at getting splits or simply being as sharp as you can be, as accurate as you can be, this is gonna force you to do it. It's also a fun way to enjoy your practice and challenge yourself and simply competing against the scoreboard. All right guys, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching. These are great tips that you can try out on your next practice session. Please let us know in the comments what other videos would you like us to make? What other things would you like to see in the channel? Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next video.